Hey guys, and welcome back to Outbreak The Nightmare Chronicles. Let's continue, shall we? Um, now, I'm pretty sure it's actually been quite a while. Quite a lot of stuff has happened since uh, I came home. Uh, well, since uh, the missus came home. Uh, sorted out the cats and all that kind of stuff. So, I can't remember what we were doing. I don't think we picked up a key. Oh, I think we were just exploring down here. No, we were coming back here, weren't we? Yeah, I remember, because... Didn't we just, like, waste loads of zombies or something? Uh, because there's an item that we need. Somewhere locked within. Pretty sure we were looking for a key, because we found the bolts, we found the wire. Now, oh, ah. Hello. Yes, I remember. So we've got twitches. Take the twitches out for now. I do wish these guys kind of had their own sound effect. I'm guessing that click is a critical. I still don't know. But we found the grenade launcher, which is pretty cool. Uh, we do need a save room. We need some items. Uh, the Twitch is just showing us the way to go. We've got some bullets here, which is great. Bullets are always good. We've got some shells. We can't really use the shells. Now, there's a code involved in here somewhere. I remember that much. Uh, well, it happened again. We had two prisoners lose control, and they beat each other to death. It was Anderson and Ronalds in the middle of the night. They both had just finished the game, uh, the gene testing, the day and we're on one of those damn cocktails that the lab keeps whipping up we have to stop storing large groups of specimens together during the active test cycles we're just asking for one of them to break out and start tearing the place up if they do we'll likely have a outbreak scenario on our hands they weren't bad people either i just think it's easy to lose sight of the fact that they that the people we're experimenting on are well people they all had families and they really didn't deserve the f a fate like that it doesn't count for much but i've changed the lock in the hallway to a combination of their bunk numbers it's not much of a tribute but it'll have to do yeah it's a pretty weak source tribute to be honest like why even bother that's kind of lame so who was it i think this is randomized guys um it was and we are pretty injured as well, which is interesting. Come on. Uh, let's see if those down. Uh -huh. uh, really? Where is it? Oh, Anderson and Ronalds. Right, okay. So, Anderson. Who was Anderson? Right, 22. And we need Ronalds. Jenkins. Jenkins, that ain't no good. 2236. Bingo was his name. Oh. Let's keep going for now. We are. Oh, there's a save room here. Sweet, I guess. Well, that's good because we need to really jiggle some stuff around. We don't need that. Definitely don't need that. Uh, we can put the G launcher away for now and the shells. Do we? Yeah, we've got the shotgun actually. Let's nab the shotgun out. Switch her over. Reload. There we go. Now, uh, I guess. Can't steal the shotgun because it's equipped. Nice and handy like that. Right, let's drop you back. Put the two shells back as well. I guess we can take the ointment and see if we can find... I guess we'll take the floppy disk. Uh, any other goodies in here? You, It'd be nice to get some bullets. Seriously? Bullets? Any amount of bullets would be good? No? Okay. Be like that in game. We shall have to make do with what we have. For now. Right. And I still can't get my hot keys to work on OBS, which uh, I don't know why, ever since I reformatted my computer, no matter what settings I try, what 
whatever I do. My hotkeys do not work. I've tried reinstalling my um, Steam Deck. Stream Deck? Steam Deck? Stream Deck. I've tried reinstalling. Uh, you know what? Let's eat that. I've tried reinstalling um, everything. It just doesn't work. Hotkeys do not work. And all of the fixes that they give you, of which there really isn't many, don't work. So I have absolutely no idea what that's about. I know I had a very old version of OBS before. I didn't update it in a long ass time. So whether it's something to do with that and this new version is just straight up bugged, I don't know. But it's really bloody annoying. Anyway, enough of my whinging. Let's continue. So it's 2236 is the code that we need. Was there any other goodies here? I'm pretty sure there was. No, can't see any. I like the way she has a flashlight. I don't know where she got the flashlight from. But we're not going to question it. We're just going to accept it as law. Because that's what we do. Now. Was it this way? Was it this way? I know we have to go much, much deeper underground. You know, that's where we've just come from. Come on, Titan, keep up. Keep with the program here. I know thinking is hard. There we go. Uh, 2236. You've released the lock. Good. Now all we've got to do is blast any motherfucker that's standing in our way. Lydia has the tools. Ah, uh, we just got... Uh, okay, she's got... Oh, yeah, I haven't shown that off, have I? She actually does get her fists out. And I'm going to go on a limb and say it's fucking useless. Get the fuck out of here. Come on, Twitcher. We ain't got no time for your bullshit. Now, she's not exactly Lydia from Skyrim. But she'll have to do. Anyone remember Lydia from Skyrim? She was a boss. She was like one of my favorite um, NPC uh, like party members ever. Man, I loved Lydia. I had loads of mods for her as well that made her like a lot more useful. After all, she was sworn to carry my burdens. Now, I'm kind of glad we're almost out of ammo because, if memory serves, yes, a Lehman and Brooks semi-auto, uh, semi Lydia's favourite with custom modifications, it fires 9mm, so this basically is the same as the gun we've already got, fires the same ammo, but I believe it's slightly more powerful, Twitcher is twitching, I know the way brother, I know the way, be nice, Look like circuitry boxes, yeah. Be nice if we could find some more bullets. Just like a pile of garbage on the floor. Uh, we could com combine these. Like that. So that's going to save us some inventory space, I suppose. Yeah, it may might be worth going back and getting another weapon, actually, because we're almost out of bullets. Doesn't last. We'll soon be overloaded with weapons and ammo, which is generally the way this game goes. We start off with like next to nothing, a knife if we're lucky, and then by the end of the scenario, we've got loads of stuff. I would almost make the argument that we have too much, but you know, I like having loads of weapons and all that shizzle, so. You're never going to hear me complain about having too many weapons. Uh, right, let's grab up all of the shotgun shells because we might as well take the shotgun for a walk. We are actually going to need it later. And I'm sorry if you can hear my door. A noise gate should mitigate most of that. But my cats are trying to break in. Do we want to take that? Yeah, we'll take the health item with us. Do we? Uh, you know what, let's drop it back because... Most likely, we will find some more. So, this enhanced handgun actually is 
it is a good bit better, to be honest with you. I was expecting it to be a bit pants. Um, you know, barely noticing the difference between it and the other gun. But no, it's it's actually not too bad. Now, believe it or not, there's actually another handgun we can get yet as well. And the other handgun... Um, doesn't do the extra damage, but it's, I think it's got a bigger magazine. Can't remember. But to be honest, it's kind of pointless. Apart from the fact that you get some ammo with it, it's not that great. I all I could have sworn there's bullets in here. I'm guessing we picked them up, maybe. But I really remember ammo in here. Oh well, maybe it's slightly randomised. I'm not sure. I know from what I've seen, the first game, oh god, the OG game, has a randomised element to it, like ammo and pickups and whatnot, uh, which is nice, I like that, gives you a reason to go back through, you know, these bodies seem intentionally well preserved compared to these monsters, they're almost human, mm-hmm, I think we're alright, I think we're on our own. Good bullets. Nice. I like bullets. I like bullets in my guns. And my phone is going off. I really should turn my alarms off. I know it's five o'clock phone. You don't need to tell me to go home. I'm not at work. Okay. Yep, we're gonna have that. What's oh god, we're actually we're full of items again. Um, there's... Mm, we probably will find an item room down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure there is one. I can't really remember exactly where it was, but... Sure, it ain't... Ah, it ain't gonna be that, be that far away. Ooh! Hey, buddy. Yeah, there's definitely a bigger splodge when you hear that kind of like cap gun sound effect. My cat is now meowing. Because he likes to do that. That sounds like Leo. Okay. I haven't really played much with them today. Because uh, I've been busy shooting zombies in the face. But I'll get the laser pen out later. And uh, wear the bugger right out. So, ah, oh, we've got a twitcher in here. Is that it? Yeah, looks like we just got a twitcher in here. Um, let's use the handgun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, ten rounds. Cheeky bastard almost got a swipe as well. All right, so we got a key in here. Somewhere. There it is. Very, very bloody hard to see. Poorly maintained sinks. Yeah, not like upstairs. Upstairs, oh, Not enough to pick up the handgun bullets. Bullshit. Ah, oh, that's... That's ass. And there's a floppy there, but we don't really care about the floppy. Uh, okay, that's annoying. That's really annoying. Well, we've got the key. Let's see what's in here. There's usually... Ah, uh, silver looking latch. No. Can't use it to... That's it, you can't use the plain key. Nothing in front of you is to use the plain key. Can't use the plain key to overcome this obstacle, I believe it said. <laughs> okay, never really heard um, a door uh, uh, reference as an obstacle before, but I mean, I guess it's completely accurate. <laughs> Hmm. Let's go back. I suppose, actually, we've got... Nah. No, 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 no. I was going to say, we will come back down here. Because definitely want those hang-on bullets. But if we're lucky... Yeah, I was going to say, if we're lucky, there might be a few bits and pieces uh, respawning in some of these rooms. I don't know who's doing that. 
I don't know if uh, Lydia has a, her own version of Wesker or Barry that's giving her a hand. I, I guess maybe that's what they were going for. But as far as I know, it's just Lydia on her lonesome. She did have a load of friends, as it said in the beginning, but they all fell in a river. <laughs> and got swept away somewhere. So whether there's going to be a game of revolving around those guys, I don't know. Apparently the original game, from what I've seen, uh, has quite a lot more to it. Let's go get those bullets. Although visually, it's... it. Do, do you know the original GTAs? It kind of looks like that. And when I say kind of, I really do mean it kind of looks like a top-down old-school GTA game with 2D graphics. It's got its own charm to it. And for sure, in the future, I would like to cover it. But I looked at it on the Switch, and it's about, I don't know, it's about a tenner, I think. And as much as I've enjoyed this game, and I, I would like to uh, <clears throat> delve deeper into the universe, uh, quote, quote, uh, I don't think any of these games is worth a tenner. Even though, ironically, I've probably spent about a tenner on these games because I've uh, gifted two people a copy of this game. Sorry, not sorry. Although I did that on Steam. I'm guessing on the PC this game does look a little bit nicer. It is on the Xbox and PlayStation as well. Uh, apparently it doesn't run brilliantly on those consoles. Um, has a very uneven frame pacing. Which is pretty gross to me. However, it seems to run okay on the Switch. There's definitely some rooms that lag up. But as I've said before, I don't mind 30 FPS games if they're, uh, you know, actually 30 FPS. I do prefer a consistent frame rate. Like playing a game at 45 frames a second is horrible. Horrible. I'd rather lock that shit to 30. Because it just feels more consistent. All right, so let's go. We've got our bullets, we've got a key. So now we should be able to go back up to the lab and we had that one locked room, if you remember. Lydia remembers, but does she remember how to get back upstairs? That's the question. I hope she remembers because you know, my sense of direction is pretty shit at the best of times. But as I said, this game is actually surprisingly linear. But, you know, I suppose... I suppose... Oh. Oh. I could have sworn I heard something. You know, you could probably make that argument for most of the Resident Evil games as well. They are very linear games with backtracking. They seem like they're big open worlds to explore, big open spaces to explore, um, but they're really not when you break them down. I love this area. I love the lighting. I'm guessing this is running on the Unity engine. It definitely ain't unreal, that's for sure, Chief. Right, the door is a standard lock. There we go. Let's go. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's see if we can shoot something. Ah, oh, shit. Shit. One of them. Yep, we can't go back either. Bollocks. Right, this is problematic because... That thing... It's a git. We've seen how tough they are. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, he's had his eight. Uh, 
give him some more. I don't really want to use all my shotgun on the bastard, but I don't really. Oh, he only took nine. Curious. Well, we'll take the key. What else do we? We've only got one other item slot. There's more health there. Do we have any goodies? Um, I'm guessing we do. There's usually lots of ammo in these rooms where you get locked in. Well, maybe not necessarily lots of ammo, but they always give you enough. There's some tools. We'll have the tools. There's some handgun bullets. Right, I feel a little bit better now, but there's a lot of... There's one, two... There's at least two healing items here. Hmm. Right. The next room is covered in gore. What the hell did this? I don't know, Chief. But I guess sooner or later, we're going to find out. Uh, right, okay. Well, there's two packs of painkillers here, which is probably worth coming back for, to be honest with you. So that key, we know that we need to use that all the way downstairs. But as you can see with that, nice particles here. What does this say? Is that not a book? No. But as you can see, um, you know, there's some very nice effects. And the areas really aren't that, that confusing because you get an item. And then you can pretty much use it straight away. Right, so this um, this box of tools that we've got, we can either use to unlock a chest, which is kind of pointless. Maybe that chest has something in it, I don't know. Or we can use it to get a new weapon. And I'd rather have the weapon, to be honest with you. Seems a bit of a waste. To use it on anything else. Maybe we don't need those health items. Uh, not really sure how many health items we have. Back in the box. Let's go check. It's not that far away if I have to run back and get them. Right. I'm guessing on PC the loading transitions between the rooms would be monumentally faster than the Switch. Which is fair. Uh, we actually don't have a humongous amount of healing items. So, let's run back and get those. Probably don't need the single solitary shotgun shell. Let's go back to that room. Right. Okay. So I think that was two packs of painkillers in there, which is actually quite a lot. I'm not planning on getting injured <laughs> much. Definitely don't want to use two packs of painkillers. But if we need them, I'd rather have them than get shafted by something. Because uh, there is a lot of fighting in this particular area let's just say that much and i could just you know i've got this annoying feeling that's telling me ah there yes bullets see how hard that shit is to see i knew it i knew there was ammo in here bloody knew it son Right, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely done uh, some good good work on the actual sound design of this game as well. It is a lot better than it probably should be. Is that a fair thing to say? Because you don't really expect um, a decent ambience from, from something like this when you look at the overall presentation, which is good. But you can tell it's a, a kind of like a one-man rodeo, I guess. But it is quite harrowing. 
if I remember correctly from the credits, I don't think he did the music. Because uh, I'm pretty sure he credits someone for that, but I might be wrong. Uh, no more ammo. Nope, let's go. Let's go, Lydia. Your destiny awaits. <laughs> kind of an interesting uh, ending to this game as well, I must say. It's definitely an ending that I didn't see coming. That's for sure. And it, you know, is quite a bit of fun. Right, let's go grab the key and the tools. And continue our escapade. Yeah, I would say the only problem really with the Switch version is the uh, low resolution of it. You really can see that you're running uh, a, a very jagged 720p here. I'm going to say it's 720p. It might even be less. But, you know, it works. I'd like to get the OG Resident Evils on the Switch, just to see what they're actually like. Yeah, there's only so much that a heavily downclocked Tegra X1 can do. And Tegra X1 is a very old um, mobile chipset. By, you know, modern standards, I mean, the Tegra X1 was nearly three years old uh, when the Switch came out. And then uh, Nintendo aggressively underclocked it for thermal reasons and battery life. Which, you know, probably the best call. But there are people that have jailbroken the Switch and been quite aggressive with an overclock and brought it back up to its proper NVIDIA spec. And <laughs> it, the Switch can, can run a lot faster than the Nintendo allow it to. It really can. I mean, in its current state, the Switch is a little bit more powerful than a Wii U, uh, you know. But when they overclock it, uh, or, well, they don't really overclock it, they, they bring it back up to what it should be. Um, it's a huge jump ahead of the Wii U. Massive. The shame we're still so constrained with um, thermal design and battery life. It really is. It really is a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully a more powerful Switch will be dropping later this year. Or early next year. I mean, mobile chipsets have to say mobile chipsets have come a long way since the X1 is like the biggest understatement in the world. Um, I mean, we've got mobile chipsets these days that knock the spots off a uh, base PlayStation 4 and destroy an Xbox One. So very interested to see what Nintendo's cooking up in their labs. But then from a from a hardware standpoint, it is Nintendo, so mm, we'll see. If they can knock out a handheld that can kick out 1080p 60fps, I'll be happy with that. Right, we got one of these big mutant bastards. See what I mean? He only took three shells. I don't understand. Yes, they're not all made equal. Right, the immunity we're finding in some specimens is interesting. Uh, we only found out uh, uh, found it out once the infection vector came became airborne. A room full of researchers all turned at once, except for one person. As the group started convulsing and became hostile, the lone researcher was caught completely off guard. Unfortunately, security protocols ensure that all exits are locked during specimen research. Researcher was torn apart almost immediately. When we examined his DNA structure, there was nothing unique compared to the other researchers on file. We're still not sure why some people are immune, but they should count themselves lucky if the virus ever gets released. It would, uh, it will pr proliferate rapidly and grow exponentially. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if Lydia should 
count herself lucky. We'll take the handgun bullets. We don't want the floppy. I think I've missed the gun. Is that case there? There's another case somewhere. There's some goop, some ointment. I'm going to quickly run back because there is a locked case. Uh, I know it's in a hall. Ah, it's like right here. There's the locked case. And we have the magnum. We picked up the magnum. This is good. Right. Uh, we could probably use an item box room as well because already we're out of space. You can see as well. Uh, the problem that we actually have because you only have six slots because the levels are really short it's not a huge problem but yeah six item slots does suck yeah looks like we've got a twitcher that's fine come at me bro yeah get the fuck out of here but actually and say that should have alleviated some of our space issues, but uh, we just like instantly picked up more bullets. The game seems to be uh, a little bit more generous to me this time around than it was when I first played it, interestingly enough. Definitely don't remember it being this generous with gear. Ah, looks like we've got a room full of twitches here. Well, that's fine. We need to use up some of these bullets anyway. Damn, that guy took some rounds. Show me the way, brother. Ooh. Ow. We're fine. We're fine. Alright, let's take these Zeds out. So we've got burning Zeds. And we have normal Zeds. Or should I say we had... We may have missed a manual somewhere. Because there is a manual that explains that these things don't actually burn. Oh. Yeah. Can't actually aim at him because he's too far away, but we can still hit him. Get the fuck out of my way, bro. Not enough inventory space to pick up some shotgun shells. Oh, that's that's sad face. That's really sad face. Hey, item room. That's nice. Yeah, see, picked up the handgun bullets, which is nice. Right, let's have a jig. Uh, probably don't want the magnum just yet. Let's drop our overfill. Drop the SMG ammo, because we don't have that. We probably don't need the shotgun for now. We'll pick that thing up later. There's some more pills here, which we'll certainly have, but we don't need them. Uh, put you back. Yeah, so I'm reckoning there might actually be enough tools. I just can't see them. Ah, oh, look, there's more. Hang on, but it's there. Oh, I think they're just the extra ones that we couldn't put in our pocket first time around. Okay. Right. Let's go back through here. Grab the shotgun shells, because why not? We're going to stick the shotgun shells back in the box. Ooh. Should we take the shotgun shells with us? Uh, could be a good idea. Maybe. Let's think about it. Oh, we're actually out of time by like 35 minutes. We're 35 minutes deep, guys. Oh, my. Right. So, uh, let's have a quick... I'll sort my stuff out on camera. Right, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.